Greetings Multiverse! We're currently enjoying Batwoman Season 2, despite a lot of viewers seemingly dropping away from it, and we're particularly liking the ongoing mystery and the teasers of other potential villains coming to the show. While Black Mask will definitely appear this season, there's also been references to Bane, Scarecrow, Mr. Freeze, Penguin, Riddler, and more. But the one we want to see most of is the Joker, and what havoc he could wreak on Gotham in the absence of Batman. And we believe this may actually happen, and what's more, it will happen by the end of Season 2. Before I carry on with this revelation, if you could please subscribe to DC Comics Gamer if you haven't already, and please like, comment, and share the video around, it really helps sell and allows me to do more videos on the worlds of DC. Onto the Joker and Batwoman, the Clown Prince of Crime has been teased since the pilot, but a few major things have led us to believe that Joker is coming back to Gotham soon. There have only been three episodes released in Season 2 so far, and we've had two major allusions to Joker already. The first was in Episode 1, and was admittedly a joke by Jacob Kane, where he suggests that he's the Joker, but nonetheless it was still an early strong reminder that the Joker exists in the Arrowverse, and we haven't seen him yet. The second major hint came in last Sunday's episode 3, Batgirl Magic, and prompted us to do this video because it was such a major reveal. The name Jack Napier was dropped in right at the end of the episode, again by Jacob Kane, regarding a disturbing piece of artwork that has links to Kate Kane, Alice, and Season 2's big new bad, Sophia, and will be dealt with more in detail in Episode 4 this Sunday, but Jack Napier is of course the original name of the Joker in both Tim Burton's Batman and Batman the Animated Series. The showrunners wouldn't throw in a name like Jack Napier if they weren't going to do something with it. Well, in Season 1, Luke Fox suggests that Batman killed the Joker, which may be the reason neither of them have been seen since, he was only guessing. Let's not forget that the Joker was the one who killed Kate and Beth Kane's mother, and set Beth on the path to becoming Alice. While Kate might be gone for now, the return of the Joker will be cause for concern for Alice, Sophia, and the other villains of Gotham. Even more importantly, Joker's return might draw out Bruce Wayne at last. With Tommy Elliott taking Bruce Wayne's face in the first episode this season, everyone theorised that the casting of Warren Christie in the role would probably mean the real Batman would show up later in Season 2. With this further tease of the Joker, we can see both Batman and Joker appearing in Batwoman Season 2 at some point. And that would certainly boost the show's flagging ratings. Not to mention boost Ryan Wilder's Batwoman if she could take on the Joker. And would definitely lead in well to Season 3, which has just been confirmed. It seems likely that the writers are hinting strongly that the Joker is still alive and coming to Batwoman, at least to us, but what do you guys think? Leave a comment below and we'll be sure to check it out, and please subscribe, like and share the video, it all helps us out. Thanks for watching folks, we'll have more on Batwoman very soon. Multiverse, out. Everything is in a smile. <laughs>